Could you go retrieve them in my stead? I don't mix well with water. Could you go retrieve them in my stead? Could you go retrieve them in my stead? Could you go retrieve them in my stead? Ah, oh, thank you. That Tory. <laughs> Anyways, let us see. The hardships I faced thanks to those O'Nells. I finally relieved myself of that stress here. The source of the Swamp Mutant's growth. Ah, no, wrong one. Ah, here it is. Signage of ethnic groups. The phenomenon of Queen Versades planting the winter tree seed or leaving the swarm for a distant area. At first I speculated some attractant to be involved, but after examining the poisonous fang your friend handed over earlier... I found some traces of parasitic hosts. In other words, they're not doing this of their own free will. I think I know the very culprit. I see them from time to time. What was it in your tongue again? Dayan? You mean... that black spirit? Yes, that's right! That very one! I wonder... why won't one possess me? Have you by chance seen Tori? He's my greatest creation. Uh, what could these symbols mean? Tree roots? The heart of a tree? On the surface, it may look no different than other regions, but all tree roots of this land are tied into one. And the roots are connected to the heart of the mountain, the mountain of eternal winter. The haven of slumbering origin. From what I've uncovered thus far, the heart produces an endless stream of poisonous materials that eat away from the inside. Is that why the winter spirits of the mountain have all fled? Oh no. What should we do? Well, it's the same for humans. Imagine being surrounded by a bunch of angry humans. The source of their anger is their unspeakable pain. You will need to surgically remove the festering wound or put them to sleep. No better medicine than a good night's rest. Isn't that why you're trying to climb the mountain? Judging by that mandragora in your hand. Right, so that mandragora actually has a potent hypnotic effect. Use it to seal the wounded heart pumping in pain. See? Such is the marvel of ecosystems. Complement each other, they do. I... What else should we be aware of in the haven of slumbering origin? Nothing else... comes to mind. But please, don't touch anything. Humans are always the problem. Humans. That's enough for us. Let us be off. Ah, I shall wait for you at the entrance to Everfrost. I will send off the dragon at the abandoned iron mine. Once the Yenix has rid me of this mark, I won't see him again. It might be better to just send him off to be with the ogres at Windnall's perch. Humans won't be able to do him harm if he's there. Let me take care of him. If you go off to meet Princess Jared, the dragon will definitely feel lonely and need some affection. The dragon would enjoy your company. It will be like having a fresh treat at the ready. Anyways, while I don't have an immediate solution to stop her, you know who you're dealing with. I'll whip something up in a flash.
We finally arrived. The mountain of eternal winter. What now? What are you doing? I can't freeze to death while offering prayers, can I? I do hope my brother's alive. I also hope that you return safely. I will offer my prayers and wait for you here. Not climbing up the mountain when you came all this way? I do not understand. I have never seen nor heard of a fox dying from climbing up a mountain. It's my last offer. I'll give you the opportunity to climb the mountain with us. It's a chance to prove a belief of your tribe wrong. Sorry, I can't. And I don't expect anyone to understand. Truth is, that's why I hired you. Please, just find my little brother. That's all I want in this world. Hm. Let's be on our way. Fox might have gotten his foot stuck here. The fox might have... What a relief that you're not the fox. Huh. There's a doodle here. Evidence that his little brother was here, perhaps. It must mean that he at least got to this point. The journey here couldn't have been easy. The warrior who shall stand alone on the icy peak after overcoming the trials of the six witches will reach the doors elaborately engraved with deep resentment and stand against the awakened abyss. The uninitiated cannot pass. Did the holy flame also guide your arrival? Did the ho the uninitiated can did the holy a voice within whispers a voice within whispers this is the haven of the slumbering origin i don't think he would have gone inside i think we should take care of our own business first Revelation beyond death. My six sisters. My death will soon mark the beginning of a new end. Labresca faces her second death, brought about by my death. 
all will disappear beyond death. But only the deepest and most piercing despair remains to call forth a thing most terrible. My six sisters, when the time comes, sacrifice yourselves to seal it completely. I will forgive you for bringing about my death in return for your own deaths. Hmm. These appear to be the words of the Seventh Witch. It seems she had a great fear of something. Something worse than her death. Hmm. There's a barrier to keep us away or to trap us here. The Guardian of the Flame. Prepare yourself. It would seem. This is our final trial. I wonder, what lies beyond these doors? Finally, the flame that can consume the gods themselves. Just in time, too. I tire of your company. Was this just an elaborate trap? I can't die here like this. My vengeance cannot die here! <laughs> Belmorn, you have outlived your usefulness. Now everything shall begin anew. Here, as promised, the Enix is yours for the... Jordine, my dear child. Jordine, my son. Such a <laughs> incredible watch of us are endured, Belmore. Grandchildren, I assume you will see. I think I finally understand. Is this what the Seventh Witch meant by heading toward a new end? A doom for who the Kahiliak!
for the glory, for the splendor of Serendia. I longed for your return after you started your journey up the mountain with our friend. Then I heard a very loud sound coming from the haven of slumbering origin. I just had this fear that something bad had happened to you. So that's why I climbed up the mountain of eternal winter. were realized. A blizzard nearly swept me away. Then I found a trace of my little brother. This is the flag. The flag my little brother and I made. Imagining it would be the mark we left upon the mountain. But I couldn't find my little brother. I think he's... Then I happened to look down. I saw a darkness within the blizzard. How dumb was I thinking that a fox abets could climb the mountain? My hands and feet were so cold it was painful. I thought I had lost my sanity risking my life like this. But then I realized something. I was still alive. Even after climbing up the golden mountain. Me, a fox abets climbed the unclimbable mountain! I didn't even care to wonder what that legend was all about! I jumped up and down, so proud of myself, and I hurried off to find you as I'd totally forgotten! Oh my, you passed out and our friend was nowhere to be seen! I thought you two were close! Did you fight? When Lando returned to the village with you on his back, all the villagers were quite startled. It was proof that our race could climb the mountain, and that the legends were no longer true. And it was proven by Lando himself, the son of the Khan. Ah, I really do want to tell your chattery friend of my great achievement. Where could he have gone? To the skies or to the ground? You don't think he went to see Princess Jurette without a farewell, do you? News! I bring news! Uh, is that a dragon? Here, take this from me. I'm um, allergic to dragons. You! You're probably disappointed too, huh? Oh well, you're stuck with me now! <laughs>
I don't know whose paw print this is, but it's addressed to Lando. Huh? Who'd sent me a letter? A letter from Widden Knoll's perch. I hope it's good news. Oh my! This stamped handprint! Bubba! You didn't make a grave for me, did you? I couldn't meet her papa, but I am well. Well beyond the mountain of eternal winter! <laughs> Sorry I couldn't send this letter sooner. I kept trying to send a hawk, but it couldn't get past the blizzard raging in the mountain. Bubba, I had a fascinating experience. I got so tired from looking for Papa that I fell asleep. And then I dreamt that the hawk and the leopard abets all returned to Zavir Highlands, and we all played together. Then I suddenly woke up to see a warm sunlight shine on the pure white snow field. I don't know how much time had passed, but I read something from a book. I think I went into what's called hibernation, Bubba. Winter wasn't too scary after all. When the fierce winter winds blow, you just need a good deep sleep. I thought of going back to the highlands, but I came here instead. Curious of the path taken by the hawk and the leopard abets. We fox abets can also travel further now. Bubba, I want you to take the path with me. Bring something yummy on your way here. Oh, oh, I have a dream now. I will be the first fox abets to be an official mountain guide. No one must have seen a fox do that, right? I will surely become rich. <laughs> Aren't you going to go look for your little brother? Huh? Why would I? He's doing fine, so that'll do. By the way, about Mr. Uh, uh, Jordine? He wasn't that heartless, was he? Wouldn't it be wonderful if someone was waiting for him to return to this place? That's why I'm going to make it my new base. And his dragon? I'm going to make it my best friend. I'll stay here to guide the climbers up the mountain for boatloads of silver. <laughs> you can leave this place in my hands and just enjoy your adventure. Thank you for ascending the mountain and motivating me to do it too. If you see that grumbly gremlin again, please send my thanks. This place is safe under my watch, so there's no need to worry. Despite all his grumbliness, it was thanks to him that I learned fear of the unknown is just an illusion. The pay? Hmm, do you accept friendship as payment? <laughs> it might take a while for him to become an Abed's guide. Lando doesn't know how to cook at all, you know. Don't worry, I'm a good teacher. But before that, do you remember my citron orchard? If you go up that path, there is a small shrine. Let's meet in front of that shrine. I have something for your ears alone. When I'm ready to head off on a journey beyond the mountain, I'll be sure to look you up.
Every Abetz has the ability to foresee the future. The future foreseen by Maramin must have been you. I asked you to take Ardaka's code to Prince Barhan, but there was something else I withheld. Allow me to tell you about Maramin's real keepsake. These objects can and should only be held by the King of Valencia. The objects I speak of are the Golden Keys. Of these two Golden Keys, when Maromin returned to the Mountain of Eternal Winter, she brought with her one of the keys held by King Torme. She did so because of Gardaka's hidden prophecy, which was told to King Torme in confidence. When the two keys are combined, the doors of Aliaeli will open and scatter crimson ashes. His descendants will open the doors of hell themselves at the end of a bloody battle. Yes, those golden keys contained a great power and were more than just symbols of Valencia's royal family. Crimson ashes scattered beyond the tomb of those long gone the power to open the doors that led to the beginning of all. King Torme tried to make sure the prophecy never came to pass by entrusting the keys to Maromin. It was because she saw the true keeper of the keys at the end of the path of prophecy. A warrior who would overcome the trials of the six witches and stand alone on an icy peak. She called that warrior Edana. Gardaka's code was only devised to make Maromin's son give up his search for the key, thus saving his life. Take that censer, for it is actually the key. Maromin melted the key and turned it into that censer so no one could find it. You will be able to use the Mandragora you received by overcoming the witch's trials to turn the censer back into a key. The black crystals used to craft the key remember its form, and the Mandragora remembers time that has been. Go find Puto at Oak Pill Research Lab. She will tell you how. I feel a little relieved now that I have been able to fulfill Maramin's last wish. I heard the news from Oslin's friend. Oh my, to see that which belonged to the witches with my own eyes. I am unaware of its use, but it looks very important. I heard the news from Oslin's friend. Oh my, please hold on. It's done. I am unaware of its use, but it looks very important. I think it's best you keep it somewhere safe. Oh, I have also heard... ...that you and your friend got rid of the dark fire that pained the mountain. Excuse me, adventurer. 
Chief Hoonvish and the wise shaman Invish are looking for you. They're waiting at the Grand Conference Hall. I'll guide them. It might take a while, but... They're here, my chief. You've caused quite the ruckus. Ah. Oh. Feeling better, adventurer? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> You noticed this fellow, I see. An alarming sight, yes? But there's no need to be afraid. It is thanks to you that my friend is even here at all. Whew, it's been a while. Remember me? I knew that there was something special about you. <laughs> all misunderstandings have been resolved, yes, yes. Due to the disappearance of the Enix you were searching for, the defeat of the Guardian who protected the Dark Flames, and the revelation of the foe who destroyed the Highlands, the thick fog which once blinded our peoples has cleared. The mountain of eternal winter, once bound by the dark flame, has been restored. And now the Okjinshini shall be reborn in their rightful form. Yes, yes! It wasn't the antlered ones who poisoned the oak pills. Why ever did we think it was them from the start? <laughs> yeah, it does make me angry thinking about it, though. <laughs> Calm yourself, my friend. I do empathize. <laughs> but for tonight, we promise to revel in the festivities alongside our hero. However, there is something we must never forget. By being reunited as one, we have uncovered a new truth. Peace has been restored unto the Mountain of Eternal Winter, but the price we paid was the presence of a malevolent deity encroaching into our world, the likes of which we have never seen. This world, our world, has now taken its first steps toward a new end. <laughs> enough, my friend. You may not brandish a blade, but your words wound enough to kill any mood. Forget such things for today, and just celebrate, for tomorrow's sun shall always dawn slightly later than today's. With all due respect, my chief, I am only carrying out my duty. Yes, yes, for we shall all encounter that god beyond Alieli soon enough. For the prophecies of origin have come together to complete the final prophecy. Crimson ash shall rain down like black death from the heavens. And black death shall rise like crimson ash from the earth. Come. Beyond the doors of Alia Eli, to where the desires of all collide and disperse. Only the one who remains standing in the end shall choose the fate of this world. to become a bridge for the reconciliation of this world. That must be the very reason why we've walked the path of prophecy. Beyond the doors of Alia Eli, for the future that awaits us together. Therefore, let us not think, only drink, and thus be merry for today. Yes, yes! Time to party all night long! <laughs>
So, moin moin. Und jetzt melde ich mich zum Ende dieser letzten Folge vom Berg des ewigen Winters zurück, kann man sagen. Weil damit ist nun, wie man hier, schwer, ähm, wie man hier schon schwer erkennen kann, ähm, die Story vorbei. Ich schaue mir mal ganz kurz, ich schau mal ganz kurz an. Reise nach ähm, Aufbruch vom Winterberg. Ähm, wo steckt der Blitzbaum? Ich kann die beiden noch annehmen. Ich werde auch wahrscheinlich erstmal schauen, welche äh, dieser beiden Quests hier noch dabei ist. Ich wollte nur mal eine kurze ähm, na, Erklärung geben. Ähm, ich werde zwar noch ein Video aufnehmen oder so, wo ich halt beide Quests hier mal annehme. Zumindest die erst unter, unten am Winterberg und dann die hier oben, falls es nur eine, Ab eine Annehmen- und Abgeben-Quest ist. Und dann, wenn es noch ein bisschen weitergeht oder so, dann wird es wieder stumm weitergehen. Und sonst sage ich einmal, ja, dann schau, auch mit dieser Folge, ciao und vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ciao, ciao.